Okay, we're back. I'm back. I hope you're back too. <laughs> uh, let's solve number three in your modules. Uh, two forces having a magnitude of 1,000 newtons and six. I uh, 1,000. Yeah, six 1,000. Mali yung nilagay ko na. Number. This should be 1,000 newtons. <coughs> so 1,000 newtons and 600 newtons act on the ring. The ring na rin. Determine the angle theta between the forces if the resultant force has a magnitude of uh, 1,400 newtons. So the magnitude is, uh, the, the resultant is 1,400 newtons. Okay, so we apply the parallelogram law or method to solve for the angle. So this time the unknown is the angle. So, ang sinasolve natin before was the result. So same procedure pa rin. We need to form a parallelogram by drawing parallel lines relative to each force. So drawing tayo. So, parallel to 1,000 Newton force and we have a parallel line relative to 600 Newton force. Ayan. Okay. So, so, parehas ito. So, 1,000 Newton since they are parallel, same direction, same length. This is also uh, 600 newtons parallel siya dito so, same length, same direction they are practically the same so the resultant is diagonal yung diagonal natin ah, hindi ka siya yung ruler <laughs> A ruler to straight edge natin kasyahin natin so this is the resultant force which is equal to 1400 Newtons. This is the angle theta. Na unknown. So, natin. if there is angle theta, then this is also angle theta. And let's designate this angle to be angle beta. Is it what is ano, angle theta na or beta? If this is angle beta, then this is also angle beta. Okay? So, given ito, given uh, itong three sides ng triangle natin and we are solving for the angle along uh, this part of the parallelogram okay so given three sides we use cosine law to solve for the angle so anong unahin natin yung solve na angle um I think we can directly solve for the angle theta in terms of angle uh, beta here. So what is beta or what, what is angle theta in terms of angle beta? So again, um, we know that the total interior angles in a parallelogram is equal to 360 degrees. So it's equivalent to twice of theta. So theta plus theta plus beta and beta there so twice of beta so we can divide both sides of the equation by 2 so this is 180 degrees this is theta plus beta so beta is in terms of theta is equal to 180 degrees minus uh, theta and we can apply the uh, law of cosines or cosine law to solve for the resultant force. So we know that the resultant force is um, 1,400 newtons. Okay, uh, squared is equal to uh, two sides. Natin it's 1,000 squared plus 600 squared. I will no longer write the units. Just to save the uh, space na lang din sa whiteboard. Although, uh, you can look into your modules for a more detailed you know, uh, solution. 
600 minus 2AB or 2AB tuloy. That's uh, 1,600 times cosine of the angle beta which is equal to 180 minus ah, mahaba masyado. Let me rewrite na lang. <laughs> Start at this point. So we have 1,400 squared is equal to um, 600 newtons squared plus 1,000 squared minus twice of the two sides 600 and 1,000 cosine of the angle beta which is also equal to 180 degrees minus theta so we can solve theta from this equation that is equivalent to 60 degrees okay so it's the angle between the 600 newton force and the 1000 newton force so yeah no? very simple okay Any questions so far? So far. If you have questions, please write your questions in the comment section of this video. So, the, the I think we should... Okay. I-solve na lang natin yung susunod yung problem number 5. Uh, problem number 4 is quite similar to the previous problems we have solved. Okay. So, solve na natin. Next is problem number 5. Here we have three forces. Yeah. So, problem number 5 will be solved on another video.